All right, folks, the deck is Reno Tendi Warrior. The goal of the deck is to play Bran early in the game so that we can play and generate as many chaotic tendrils as possible to blast our opponent in the face with Sunset Volley. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Roth. Watch this! Let the great dream begin. Let your penance begin. Anti fan, yeah, clearly I hate watcher. Well, we finally got Bran. Please don't get dirty ratted. Incoming exclamation point rat moment. I think the uh, stone skin before the Bran is probably ideal anyway, even if we have the Bran already in hand. So it's maybe too many cards drawn and fills our hand when we get to the tendies. Guess it's Jade Druid. Cool. Yeah, they really had it out for that uh, poor 3-3. Three, three. I'd say they are spell damage druid. Okay, that's a prediction. I'll put you on the record for that one. Well, maybe they are. So the jade display is just hanging out. Either way, isn't this like in contention for the worst deck in the format? <laughs> So I guess you can't make it worse by adding jades to it. That was a good uh, dirty rat. Uh, I would have liked to have shuffled another dirty rat into my deck, but um, like the hesitation was I didn't know if I was going to need to clear like a big spell damage minion or something. So I wanted to give myself the option to do so. There are two uh, 10 cost spells in standard, so it's a coin flip to hit Sunset Volley. All right, Brand on Curve is disgusting, but clearly this is a sign that our luck has turned around. Weird-looking spell damage, Druid. I don't want more armor vendors, actually, because... Um, like, I've got Geppetto in hand. Adventure away! Job's done. I want to, since I drew the Zola, I want to save it for the, uh, the Tendi. Since it's the only one I have right now. I've got a clear on their board, but like, this is more fun, right? Oh. Oh. Okay. Break it, you buy it.
Okay. Nice. Can't see him. John Cena has entered the building. Exactly. It's quite the display. All right, boom. I didn't know you could make a Zilliax that small. Look at how tiny their Zilliax is, Chad. Everybody point and laugh. <laughs> It's so small. Nice outcome. Look at me. Break it, you fire. It's not the size that matters. I mean, if that's what you have to tell yourself. Whoops. Well, I was thinking about casting that anyway. Okay. Hearing an awful lot of excuses in chat right now. Also, opponents dominating the fatigue game plan. Where are the rest of my tendies, man? Me when the door dress door dash driver eats my food. Listen, it's not unity, carpet bombing, perfection. It's unity precision perfection. <laughs> Where did the carpet bombing come from? What? <laughs> Thank you, Kali. For that important Zilliax insight. I got some bad news for this opponent. Actually. I need to empty hand. <laughs> it's action packed perfection. Yeah. I mean, it's really packed in there tightly because of how tiny it is. Wait. Why do they have two of them? They have like six now? Oh, the reborn, yeah. <laughs> Their deck's kind of funny. Let's just hurl this upstairs. Oh, my board's full. Uh-oh. I don't actually want this back. <laughs> I don't want you either. Acolyte of pain. Okay, he's gone. Reno will consume your board. Hey, 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 hey! 
That's my only minion. Careful. Nine ten. A big fat hen. Oh, nice table flip, idiot. Ten ten. A big fat hen. I'm so unlucky still. Maybe their Reno deck. Yeah, that's a good bet. <laughs> Next turn, we do get 10-10, uh, and uh, you guessed it, Big Fat Hen. Ten. Ten. What is- What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> My game is clearly broke. Broken. Okay, finally! Jeez! <laughs> oh my god, this, <laughs> this stream is so cursed. We can roll higher. Let your penance begin. Let's just uh, look hard for the brand. Might even be worth coining a panner, but yeah, let's go for it. That does mean we can't coin the brand. But it makes it more likely that we get to the brand. Unfortunate. Fortunate. Job done. Would it ever be Bran on curve into playing four high roll ten I'm dead if I play Bran. I didn't play Bran because I would be I was dead on board. So no, I don't think so. Might as well forge this. I mean, even if I wasn't actually dead, I was effectively dead. Do you have this in a bigger size? This preps the aftershocks, but uh, we don't have the brand, so that's a problem. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. That's not bad on curve either. Probably asking the same thing. Scream for me. Sanitize. I mean, they've likely just got both of them at this point. Brand? 
on brand. Both brands work with each other. Um, what happens when your battle cries trigger twice? Or what does uh, your battle cries trigger twice mean to you? I think we can just use the aftershocks on these. First, though. Oof. Looking for a stand up? Careful, it's against me. One shot is all I need. I mean, I've drawn a substantial number of minions or cards more than my opponent, so I deserve to hit the brand first. Told you. No matter the danger, I'll always keep it with discovery. It's tending time. Oof. Uh, oh. That wasn't good. <laughs> you just got tended. Like that the new set gave a relatively more consistent setup for Exodia Paladin? Yeah, I'll. I'll, I'll play some uh, Exodia Paladin soon. It's just wild is not a fun place for me right now with all the bots. So we go here. Look, that's not concerning for me. Not when I've got tendies to play. Tendy me. This. Oh, nice. We've created a temporal anomaly. Is that good or bad? Oh, that's bad with this on the board. Pretty bad, is it? I mean, I think the Dirty Rat was bad. I think the Wheel of Death was good. Like, I'm at 51 health. Such a perfect specimen. Well met. NW, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. So we're on 9 and 10. So we probably just go Geppetto, or we ping first. Probably here. That will... Almost ensure a clear. Hero power. I mean, I could also just play, yeah, here, play the uh, vendor. Armor, armor, lightly used armor. Thing here. Here. And then play this. Want table flip here now, I think. Oh, sniped. Okay. Let's 
sanitize is what they're hovering here. But sanitize, I think, would be fine for me. When Fury 8 drops incoming, that wouldn't do anything, though. Whoopsie. I couldn't have done it better myself. I should have just pink face. What's this? I kind of just want to let that go off here armor, armor. and not crowd my board anymore. Just save these as reactive tools. Well met. Been enjoying the videos. Take my prime. Hey, appreciate that, Ravini. Thank you for the 11 months. We can just use the remaining tendies as a reactive tool since we have inevitability in place. I don't think we can keep the gold banner in this matchup. Just this into forge this and then figure out the rest. Armor, armor, Not a bad pickup. But it doesn't do a whole lot right now. Jeez. <laughs> Just reduce the total health on the board for when we need to play the Bellowing Flames. Ah! Like this coming turn, we just go with Acolyte. He's back. Well met. Hey, Muffle. Keep up the good content. Smile. I appreciate that, my little ultimate. Thank you for the one year. Hey, you. Restore me for me. Appreciate that support. Possible we overdraw here, but it would take a lot of effort from the opponent that I'm just kind of fine with. That toy was made just for me. I'm the perfect toy for you. No, you're not. Go away. Mysterious. What is your wisdom? Relieves some of the uh, hand size issues I was having. If three rights make a lot. I think we might go with the uh, coin Reno angle and then play the brand behind it. 
It'll depend a little bit on how much they develop here and whether or not we need to uh, sanitize. I'm the perfect toy for you. But it does look like it's going to be the... Uh, hmm. Doesn't have to be, is the thing. I think I might like the sanitize better here. Because if they have, like, double Megtheridon... We would get to clear them. Whereas Sanitize would not. Don't need to be in a super big hurry for the brand anyway, because I have zero Tundies, so... Do this to lock them out. Because they have one more miniaturized uh, version, it looks like. Now I am complete. Don't complete on me. Gross. No Wind Fury, at least. Just gain some armor here. So I'm kind of just getting out tem- Ooh, hello. Out tempoed. But the window shopper should be gone. Do you have this in a bigger size? Uh, yeah, apparently the, uh, the window shopper demon hunters decks are doing extremely well. I think it's one of those situations where, like, the card just kind of snuck underneath the balance change window. Which is the issue with the timing of some of these early balance changes, you know? Got the brand down. Should be able to get some things going here. Paladin is so best. We forget about the other overtune cards. Yeah, that's the other thing is that like um, Paladin was probably hiding Demon Hunter. Like Demon Hunter was starting to pop up towards the end of the uh, the balance for the pat the previous patch, but like. It was also, people probably found it later because everybody was hitting the paladin nonsense. scared now <laughs> but at least we don't have the opportunity to get surprised by a cane or here anymore right 
We can also go with Chad's dream play of Bran into Bran. Finally, after a million years of asking the question, chat will finally know what happens when you play Bran into Bran. Uh, spoilers, not a lot. But let's do it anyway because it's funny. Okay then. Your turn. Honestly, I kind of wanted it to clear the spirit. BG players know that twice is not an extra time. I mean, constructed players should know that too. <laughs> There's been more than enough time to figure that out, but they still ask every single time. Thank you.